Gilad Pelion is best known for being Grand Admiral Thrawn's right-hand man during the Chiss's attempt to reconquer the galaxy for the Empire following its fracture after the Battle of Endor. A military man to his core, Pelion embraced the values of discipline and respect to authority expected in a soldier, with him ensuring those who worked with him to do the same. This dedication to these standards caused him to be at odds with the Jedi he served with during the Clone Wars, with the best example of this being when Ahsoka Tano came aboard his ship. As a side note, this moment takes place in the novel, The Clone Wars, No Prisoners which was part of a series of books written to expand upon both characters and events that took place throughout the Clone Wars show and movie. Although the animated show was kept canon upon Disney's purchase of Lucasfilm, the same did not apply to these books despite their direct connection to the show, with them being put under the Legends label as a result. Nonetheless, early in the Clone Wars, Ahsoka along with Rex were briefly stationed on Captain Pelion's heavy cruiser. Upon their arrival to the ship's hangar, Pelion greeted them personally and immediately took notice of Ahsoka. Seeing what she was wearing, Pelion ordered her to change into a more fitting attire, ordering one of his crew to get her a proper uniform. Taken aback by such a demand, Ahsoka protested by explaining how she was allowed to wear her outfit on all the other ships. Pelion did not care, explaining that exposed flesh on a ship was not only improper and distracting, but also dangerous due to possible exposure of the ship's toxic chemicals, sharp edges, and weaponry discharges. Trying to reason with him, Ahsoka explained that her outfit was proper, since it was how she fought on the battlefield, and that Admiral Yularen had no problem with it. Pelion pushed back, stating how she was on his ship and that they were his rules. What other admirals and captains did on their ships was their prerogative, but on his ship, he did not tolerate such attire. Realizing she was not going to convince him, Ahsoka accepted his order and took the new clothing with her, a pair of black boots and dark blue coveralls. While this back and forth was taking place, Captain Rex watched silently. He had completely forgotten about how strict the rest of the Republic military was, with General Skywalker's command being an outlier in its flexible nature when it came to following formal protocols. As Ahsoka left to get changed, Pelion turned to Rex and joked over how Skywalker did not tell his underlings to put clothes on, and if the Jedi General thought he was going into battle on a cruise liner. Such an unexpected casual remark had Rex reflexively mute his helmet's audio function, allowing him to get a quick laugh out without others hearing. One of the many benefits of wearing a helmet Rex was grateful for. Despite Pelion's stubbornness in upholding military standards, he did make an exception when it came to how he communicated with those under his rank, allowing Rex to drop formalities when addressing him, and even offering him a drink. Later, when Ahsoka returned after changing outfits, she complained that it was too baggy and that she risked tripping over it, which made it less safe for her. Pelion dismissed her concerns and simply told her she will grow into it. This attitude from Pelion stemmed from his dislike of the Jedi's influence within the Republic military, specifically when it came to giving their Padawans official command over soldiers, who were still children in his mind despite their Jedi training. Regardless of this fact, he was able to work with Ahsoka with minor contentions. After leaving his command, Ahsoka likely became more grateful over how Yularen ran his ship, with her being given more freedom to act as she pleased.